I wanted to talk about alignment today. I'm Tanya Wilson, Master Life and Business Coach, also known as The Growth Strategist. I focus from a three-point perspective, abundance mindset, personal growth, and business building. I believe that all three of those things, when they are in alignment, ironically, we're talking about alignment, I think that they become a superpower when you are tapped into an abundant mindset, when you are consistently up-leveling in the space of your personal growth and when your business building skills are in alignment for where you desire to go, I just simply feel they're the perfect three. And so on today, I want to come to you from the space of abundance and abundant thinking. And Starting from the space of alignment. So oftentimes when I'm working with my private clients, I share many of the details that are happening with me in my business behind the scene. And a recent client asked me about um, an income goal that I was going for, like a monthly sales goal and I had been getting $5,000 sales consistently paid in full and I was this has been a couple of years ago in a space of you know shifting in identity to be able to <clears throat> not only receive but to hold to have the capacity for larger sums of money at one time. And so I was sharing with my client that I'd had a $15,000 sale that <clears throat> I I felt unsure about from the beginning, not about me being able to do the work with the client, the work that they were coming to do, but my thoughts and my thinking around the money that was coming in. And one of the things that happened for me with that first $15,000 sale that I ever had was I did not honor myself. And what I mean by that is there comes a space where you're wanting to up level your business and your life. And number one, being certain that you're definitely worthy of it is important, but also that the clients that you are accepting into your space are in alignment. And being able to trust your intuition about things, because oftentimes when we say yes to things that are out of alignment for us, we're often often doing it from a space of desperation or a space of scarcity thinking. And all that eventually leads to is some form of sabotage or, you know, those would be the clients that are the hardest to actually provide services for or something going wrong where you find that you no longer even want to work with the client to the point where you're just willing to give them the money back. Just so many different things happen when we aren't in full alignment with what we're wanting to call into our life. And I'm sure as you're listening to this, you can think back to an incident with a client, a customer, a vendor, someone where it was a really great opportunity, but in word, thought, and action, there wasn't complete alignment for you. Whatever it may have been, whether you were having thoughts of doubt or uncertainty, worthiness, whatever they may have been, but I'm sure you can think of moments where something about those particular transactions were not done with grace and ease. And I talk about alignment so much because it is that harmonious space where whatever it is that we're calling in not only comes to us because we're attracting things all the time, but we're able to maintain it. We're able to, to keep it, right? 
And so this is probably the most central part that I want to share on today as it relates to alignment. And that is what you are saying to yourself. It's, it's so important because if the things that we told ourselves we were going to do, we don't do, then we're not in the energy of belief, right? Because we, we have a space of distrust for ourselves, right? Because we didn't do what we said we were going to do. And so imagine attempting to convince people who do not know you to do business with you, to support your cause or whatever it is that you imagine asking people you do not know to invest their money in something that you're offering and you don't fully believe in it yourself. And so if I could share something with you today, it would be to keep your promises to yourself. Whether that is a boundary that you've created or a boundary that you need to create. Because all it's like the cyclic thing that happens internally within us. It can impact our self-esteem, our courage, our confidence, just in so many different ways. And energy is transferable. And just the expectation for others to believe in something we don't believe in ourselves even as we're hearing this even as you're hearing this you know that something is out of alignment and so i want you to come from the space of number one trusting yourself even if it means that i always believe in simplifying your your business and your life because you can find a space of harmony when you're not accountable for so many things and dropping balls and and all the things, right? But I find that as you begin to simplify your level of mastery and detail and attention to fewer things becomes more prominent and your impact is even greater. But even more so your ability to trust yourself because what you said you were going to do, you did it. And that is a space of alignment that you can set your intentions for, even over this next week, right? To do what you said you were gonna do to yourself. No one else had to hear the conversation. It can be the smallest thing, make your bed. Um, For me, today, one of them was to record this by three o'clock. Just the, it may seem small, but you begin to create a level of certainty and that energy begins to transfer into the atmosphere and it begins to be a space of attraction for people who are serious and people who want more and who are vibrating on that same frequency and that same level because it is all frequency it is all energy and we can do so many things publicly but if our alignment is off like the internal things the internal thoughts the the fullness of what we're doing if it is off as within, so without. As it relates to ways that I can support you, if you're hearing ways that you need to be supported as you're listening in, our Queen Behavior Masterclass is transpiring a few days from now. And I also have private ways that I can support you through power hours, identity shift set, shifting sessions, um, 3D Success Academy. You can go to renewfullcircle.com renewfullcircle.com if you're looking for added ways to be supported in your business and in your life as within so without that's my take on today Um, 
Tanya Wilson, Master Life and Business Coach, The Growth Strategist. Peace and abundance.